Hello everybody, this is Amitai and Gold speaking. Today we're going to make a quick tutorial on how to control an atomic particle layer with a point layer. So first of all, I'm going to create my atomic particle layer. Just going to get some colors first with the fractal noise. Okay, so I'm going to select the color of the clouds. Atomic particle layer effect here. Going to open the appearance, just the size. Now, I'm going to the spherical warp and I'm going to boost the values here. Okay, we got something going on. Nice, right? So, now we're going to create a point layer and I'm going back. Let's, let's keep it in 2D at the moment. I'm going back to the spherical warp and adjusting the position to our point. Now, once this is set up, I can move the point. No, I'm just moving the layer here. I want to select my point and then I'm about to move my point. And look at this magic. This is very neat, very cool, right? Now, the spherical warp function is now adjustable by our point. Let us also add the glow effect to this particle layer. Okay, I'm going to decrease the numbers of particles. This is too much, I think. Maybe add here three layers. Now, once we've added three layers, we can go 3D. All layers and we can see how the spherical warp is being affected by the point in all axes. Now I want to decrease the warp, decreasing the warp here. Okay, going back to the point layer, adjusting the position. You can see is being done to the particle layer. Now this effect can be used in many variations. Hmm. Let's go. Look at this. I'll go back to the point layer. We're just like slicing through these layers. What happens if I'll rotate the whole particle array? Moving the point now. Look at this. Look at this effect. Now imagine what you can achieve with this function of the spherical warp binded to a point layer. Now this is very cool. Very nice. Let us go back to the from particle layer and we're going to set up the spherical warp again. Just playing around with it. Okay, I'm going back to the point layer. up and down and you can see we're getting some kind of an explosion in this layer very cool you can hear my air conditioning working this is the noise you hear at the background and this is beautiful I must say, it film is very, very cool software, and there are a lot of functions here in the software that you can use for your benefit to create cool effects. Now, what happens if we continue rotating this array? Very nice. Very nice. 
Now, you can animate, of course, atomic particle layer. Okay. Just boost up the values here. And you can see it wobbling. Okay, this is bubbling too fast. And add also the flow function, just boost up the values a little bit. Okay, you can move your array. Remember, this is a 3D array, it moves with your camera. I'm going to set up the camera to watch this bulge, bulgy effect in the center of the array and we're going to animate it and I'm going to animate this vertical work function just slicing through these particles okay so it will begin like this we'll animate the position go here at this point, I want the dispersed particles to go wild as it is slicing through the particles. So I'm going to go back to my atomic particle and I'm going to just set up the mm, displace maybe. Yeah. Mm, you know what? Here will be better. Disperse. So first of all, I'm going to set up new new points, you cannot see them here, you will be able to see them if I go back in my disperse, here are my keyframes, this, this is the keyframe I'm going to use, I'm going to disperse it, just going to smooth them, now I've got something that goes like this. This is not good. I'm going to move my point here. Yeah. And at this point, I, I also want the camera to move. So I'm going to adjust the camera. I'm going to create some kind of position keyframe. Maybe this will be very close. And at the starting point, I want to get. So I'm just going through all these particles. Okay, this is just a simple example of what you can do with the spherical work binded to a point layer. Okay, um, I think I'll make another tutorial on what actually can be done with these um, to be more useful. But this is the technique. This is the basic technique on how you use the spherical work function on the atomic particle layer with a point layer. So, okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Although you haven't seen here something cool, I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel and watch all my wonderful animations and let me know what you think of them. I'm Itayan Gore, signing off. Thank you very much. I'm out.